Hey, you know, I've been playing a lot of games lately, and yes, I've been ranting a lot lately, too, and this is yet again another rant cartridge trial. I know I should stop myself before I do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. By way of, you know, I play a lot of games, and there are essentially, in my view, seven major power companies in the video game industry. Some would say five, but I say seven. Uh, those companies being Capcom, Activision, Bethesda, Bungie, THQ, and of course, BioWare. And I guess Epic is an eight, but. But the subject of the video of today, though, is that of the weakest of the three financial group financially THQ who I just recently purchased UFC Undisputed from and had a fun time with THQ Hughes third installment of Saints Row but here's the problem for those that are not the no like myself um you know there seems to be one problem. Even though THQ has made these great games, they are losing money. That's right, folks. The same company that has one of the most reliable sports licenses in the game, the WWE license, and... There is no argument, just look at the numbers. You will find that they've been laying off employees on a monthly basis now, and are even rumored to be canceling ideas for possible games and IPs. This is a problem. Because it speaks more to the, I guess, over-commercialization of games. I mean, if we're not being bombarded with an advertisement every five minutes, like Battlefield or Saints Row the Third, or Call of Duty, do we buy it? The answer is, of course... No, because gamers these days are absolutely brain dead in their ability to find great games, or they don't know how to judge a good game from a bad one. THQ doesn't make what I would call these blockbuster games of epicness that sell 10 million automatic, but they do sell these games that are generally fun with lots of replayability and content sharing. Yes, I know they're one of the companies that jumped on the online pass bandwagon, but that's another topic for another show. In In truth, though, you know, Saints Row III and Undisputed Three show that THQ still has some muscle in it. And they also include WWE 12 in this. Here is my question to all of you. Would you like a great sports franchise like the UFC or WWE to be assimilated into the EA empire. Because I guarantee you, if THQ goes out of business, one or both 
will be assimilated. I guarantee you. EA is like the Borg. When they see a money-making opportunity, they assimilate. And resistance is futile. I mean... THQ picked up the WWE license from a claim all the way back in 1997. Since then, they have sold close to, combining all the series together, close to about $450 million, usually getting a consistent on the level three to four million per year on each of their yearly games. Um... Of course, you just seen Saints Row just recently as of last month pass the three million games sold barrier, a number that in my opinion should be much, much higher, but because the game came out during the Call of Duty nuclear bomb that is dropped upon us every year. The game didn't sell well. Do yourself a favor and play that game, please. It is refreshing as all hell. And of course, you have seen Undisputed just came out, which three, which is the best version of that series yet. But if we, as a gaming public, do not save THQ and show that there are still good companies making good genuine games for people, yes, they've gotten out of the making Spongebob games market, thank God, but at least they were brave enough to try for a while. Understand that it's companies like THQ that are still trying to be creative with games like Dark Darksiders, and we honestly need to save them. So please buy THQ games. Give them a look. Give them your money. They're one of the few companies that deserve it. Send me your best THQ game. I know what a lot of the responses will be. Um, in the comments section. And please send me ideas for Carthage File number 9. I'm going to make number nine a kind of fan chosen file. So please let me know the ideas in which to do videos on. And yes, every card that's file, every Code America and its subsidiary now is a playlist. Watch it. It's not that hard to get to a playlist without notation. So, until next time, may Leoka be with you and good day.